Hey, I'm Jonah Neiman, and this is Jay Rockford, Connor Hennessy, and today we'll be doing In Your Face, and our first topic will be, do you think it was a good idea for Kevin Durant to go to the Warriors? Um, I, I think it was a good idea for him, not for anybody else, though. I think that it was, it was a pretty selfish move. He had a team that, you know, he might have been able to win a championship with, but he went to chase a ring with a team that already could have won. I don't, I don't think it was fair to everybody else. I think it might have been good for him. I don't think it was good for him. It put uh, a bad, uh, a bad reputation. It, reputation. Thank you. Yeah, a bad reputation on his name. You don't want. You've been with OKC for eight or nine years, right? Yeah. <laughs> and you, you say you want to be here for your whole career. You don't do that. That's. It's not, you don't want to do that. Yeah, I think it, it might have, it's going to put a bad name on him. I think that he, he still will probably win a championship with with the Warriors, you know, but I think that he let down a fan base that was very devoted to him. I think that he changed, he changed basketball not for the better. Mm-hmm. Okay, and our second topic will be, who do you think is the greatest player of all time retiring within 19, 1999 and less? I think that Earl Campbell, he would do very well in the NFL right now. Uh, I think that some of the other players, they might have been good at their time, but that was because they weren't they weren't matched by good people. Earl Campbell, very strong himself. You know, some of his runs, he got his jersey ripped up. He set a rookie record. I think that he's one of the best, and he will always stay that way, especially. And if you play now, that strength will be good against the harder hitting safeties, cornerback, cornerbacks, linebackers, and so on. What do you think? Uh, I'm gonna go with. Bo Jackson. He is, well, he was such a tough player. He would run right through the defense. No one could touch him. He was just an outstanding player with only one objective, get to the end zone. That was what he had to do, and that's what you got to do to be a good player in the NFL. And then our final topic will be, who do you think is a better quarterback? Tom Brady or Joe Montana? I think Brady is just better by so far. I mean, he was playing with wide receivers who he, they were always switching. He was always adapting. The best wide receiver he played with is Randy Moss, who's not comparable at all to Jerry Rice. Montana played with Rice for almost his whole career, and he was dominant, of course, because Rice is probably the best receiver in NFL history. Over 200 career touchdowns. Who do you think made that happen? Joe Montana, but who do you think made Joe Montana one of the greatest quarterbacks ever? Jerry Rice. I think if you took Jerry Rice out of the equation, Montana would be a no-go. Uh, that's not necessarily true. Joe Montana could had he was the best quarterback of all time. He Tom Brady's goal was to be better than Joe Montana. If we look back on this two years ago or five years ago, what would you have said? Joe Montana. Because Tom Brady has stepped up his game in the last five years, but if we're talking about five years ago, Joe Montana would have won. But look at Tom Brady finishing his career strong. He's got a good ass. He's got good assets, not great assets. He's playing very well. You see where Montana finished his career? The Kansas City Chiefs. He was concussed, beaten down, never a good player after he left the 49ers at Rice. He just didn't have hope after he was after he wasn't playing with one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. Well, Brady's had a great wide receiver at tight end his whole career. Uh, he had Hernandez, he had Gronk, uh, Edelman. He's had so many assets to help him. But he was switching his assets all the time. He was never, he just he never had the same wide receiver for over five years. You know, the best player he had was Randy Moss. Moss ended up leaving. Say Welker, Welker, he had to leave too. You know, the Patriots kept falling apart and then Brady had to put them back together. Montana's team, always was consistent, always had a fairly good defense. The Patriots have made so many lineup changes, and I think that that's why Brady is so good. He's able to adapt to them. It's also Bill Belichick. Uh, he was definitely in that equation. Okay, that's all the time we have for today. So, bye. Thank you for watching.